Hello, today I'm going to show you our advanced email capture tool. Now this tool gives us the ability to monitor multiple email boxes uh, and grab attachments and other details off of those messages. So the first thing we're going to do is set it up to configure and then we'll run the service and actually see it processing those attachments for us. So the first thing we do when we have the configuration loaded is we add a mailbox. When we do that, we get a number of settings that are loaded. The first thing we want to do is connection. We want to understand how we connect to the mailbox. So we're going to go ahead and enable this. And then we're going to select the type of uh, email box that we're going to process from. In the terms uh, of today's demo, we're going to do exchange. And the neat part with Exchange uh, is that there are some Auto Discover features built within the tool. So all you need to do for Exchange, if you have Auto Discover enabled on your email uh, accounts, is just provide a username and password, and the software will then Auto Discover that server detail for us. So that's what it's doing now. It's actually communicating to the Exchange server uh, at our domain in order to get uh, the server details back for us automatically. Cool. And now that it's done, you see it's successfully found. It does automatically populate the server, so we didn't have to go hunt that down. And now we can hit our test button, and it should come back with a number of emails that are located uh, within the inbox folder there for us. And you can see there it's a successful test, and there are 10 messages. So the next thing, now that we have our connection settings, the next thing we want to do is just configure the rest of our options here. We want to determine, you know, what folder to monitor. We want to figure out how we handle the message once it's done processing and then we have some other uh, cool things that allow us to manage what emails we're actually going to process within the software so we're going to first select the folder that we want to monitor and what it's going to do when i first select it is going to connect to the exchange server that i selected and populate the folders for us so this will soon become a populated list And all we're going to do is select what folder. In this case, we're just going to select our inbox folder. The max number of emails per poll and the seconds between cycles are already defaulted at our recommendation. Uh, however, you have the ability to modify these. The max number of emails per poll will simply determine how many emails we grab at one time. And the seconds between cycles just determines how often we connect to that uh, exchange server, in this case, and grab emails. So that's going to be where we receive the emails from. Now, how do we deal with the message once we've processed it? We can permanently delete it, but our recommendation is that you move it to a process folder for at least a period of time. So we're going to select that, and we're going to simply select our processed folder. So to summarize, our software will pick up emails from the inbox folder, process them, and then move them to the processed folder when it's completed. On this screen and on this tab, we have a little bit more options here that will allow us to ignore attachments. So these are any, any weird attachments, and typically we can deal with things like uh, attachments that are within signatures of emails um, or other just common attachments that you don't want to process. You have the ability to add a list of attachment names, or we can ignore certain attachments that either have no file extension or are what we call linked resources like those signature files. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and enable those. Uh, and then if you had your own uh, random file names that you want to ignore, you have the ability to do that as well. We have a validation tab. And now validation means that if it fails a validation, it will not process the message. So um, that message will completely be moved, and there are no attachments that even if there are valid attachments, we will not find them. So, and you can ex and so in other words, if it violates our validation, it will not process the message one bit. So in this case, you can determine extensions, uh, DPIs, phrases, or even reject attachment extensions that are within these lists. And you can see you can add as mul multiples of these as you'd like. And then you can also trigger an email back to the user if it, if it violates our validation, or you can send emails to administrators. In this case, I'm going to leave it off, um, but just so you're aware of it, these are some nice deals, some nice features that allow us to deal with email management. And then lastly, we want to say, hey, where do we dump our, um, our attachments when we're done? And I've picked a folder here. Uh, you're going to see here that I have picked it, and there's nothing there. So um, once we turn it on, we'll see it grab attachments for us. 
what I'm going to do now is hit our go back to our configuration, hit our save, and you're going to see it adds it to the list. Now you can add as many mailboxes as you'd like here, and you know you can select it here and, and modify any settings that you'd like. So now that we're done, I'm going to save and apply so that it overwrites the configuration. Now what I'm going to do next is turn it on. And what you're going to see is it's going to connect and it's going to grab some attachments from emails that I have sitting in there. If there are attachments that are already been processed um, that are similarly named, it will just rename them automatically with like a, 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 a parentheses one parentheses. So it, you, we have no problem with duplication of um, file names here. So what I'm going to do is start our service. And what it's going to do is start connecting to that email box and processing it. Now, as it's connecting, uh, you'll see once it processes them, it's going to put the attachments here within our, our folder that we have designated. We have some advanced options that I'll highlight real quick. We have some detailed logging that comes with the software, and then we have an event log. This event log reads the Windows event log for, that, um, for this application, and we can open that up. And when we do that here, you can see we have all kinds of settings. And you'll actually see the logging history, um, and specifically the message is what's important here of what's going on. So right now it's loading the settings, and then it will eventually connect. And, and actually, as I refreshed here, you can see it's starting to process more messages. So that's an that's a, a administration tool. Not everybody needs to know about that. And here we go. We're picking up attachments. So um, in this case, we had multiple attachments that were called for dash export, and so the software just renamed them. So just multiple attachments there we're grabbing. And it's a very, very simple process. So at any time, we can look at our logging and determine what's going on here. Um, and you'll see here it's, it's going to tell you every single thing that the software is doing. It's going to be telling you what it saves the attachment as, what message it's doing, when it moves the attachment, et cetera. So you have a lot of view up to what the software is doing and a lot of management options from a configuration standpoint to make sure that you're getting the results that you expect. So that is our email capture tool. It's an advanced email capture tool that you can use with many other softwares that read hot folders and those kind of things. And uh, we hope you enjoy it. And if you have any questions, please let us know. Thank you so much.